Good morning. On behalf of Student Council and Campus Ministry, I would like to welcome you to our prayer service to celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph. We hope you enjoy this special service dedicated to the husband of Mary and foster father of Jesus. St. Joseph is the patron saint of our school as well as the patron saint of Canada, families, and the Universal Church. Let us begin with the song of our faith. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father, you have entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may we continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Above all, clothe yourselves with love which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever your task, put yourselves into it, as done for the Lord and not for your masters. Since you know that from the Lord, you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You serve the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, His line shall continue forever. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. His line shall continue forever. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to my servant David, I will establish your descendants forever and build your throne for all generations. His line shall continue forever. He shall cry to me, you are my father, my God and my rock of salvation. Forever I will keep my steadfast love for him and my covenant with him will stand firm. His line shall continue forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Christ. Now the birth of Jesus the Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, my friends, today we are celebrating the great solemnity of Saint Joseph, who is our patron. And it's hard to imagine, but it has been a full year since we have been experiencing this pandemic. And as you recall, Last year, we were getting ready to come back from March break and would have celebrated together as a school community, the feast of our wonderful patron. This year, we're still not able to gather together, but I spoke to Mrs. Walls and I said, how about if I come to the school chapel so that we have a familiar place, but also our familiar statue of St. Joseph. This year, especially, Pope Francis has dedicated the whole year to the honor of St. Joseph. 
He wants all of us as disciples to focus on the person of St. Joseph, who is, of course, so very important in the life of Jesus. And we hear that in the gospel today. Joseph is obedient. He's given a, a, an impossible situation. The woman that he's going to marry is found to be with child. And it's going to be a scandal. It's going to prove to be all kinds of difficulty. He didn't want to make a big fuss about it. He just wanted to, to do things in the most simplest way. To protect Mary. And when he had resolved to do what was allowed to do in these circumstances, God spoke to his heart. And he said to him, trust. This is part of my plan. All will be well. Those words spoken to the angel, by the angel to Joseph, do not be afraid. Those are great words for us. And so we look at the figure of St. Joseph as someone who did not allow fear to overwhelm him. With the uncertainty of life, he trusted in the Lord. And the Lord sustained him. The Lord gave him the strength that he needed. We have a wonderful patron in St. Joseph. And that's why Pope Francis wants us to focus on him this year. It's a special year where we can think about how St. Joseph is that humble, ordinary person who goes about doing their work in a quiet yet loving way. When Pope Francis declared this year in honor of St. Joseph, he said, let us look at this humble servant, a man who didn't want any praise for himself, didn't want to be in the spotlight, just wanted to simply go and do the work that was entrusted to him. St. Joseph is important. As we look at our statue, we have his carpenter's tool. We have the pitcher of water. We have the loaf of bread. We know that this Mass has always been one of our favorite times as a school community, where we can bless the bread and then share it with each other. Joseph went about his task providing for his family and using the work of his hands in order to benefit Mary and Jesus and others. We all know people, especially here at school, who have gone about their work in humble, quiet ways in order to keep us safe, to keep things clean. Think of the work of the custodians. They've gone about making sure that our entire school is kept safe for everyone. You guys all go home at the end of the day. They're here working. And we can say that in so many ways. All our office staff who field so many different phone calls and our administration who are constantly dealing with changes to how we are to do things. To be humble means that we are accepting. Not that we let people walk all over us. Certainly nobody walked all over St. Joseph. To be humble means that we have a quiet confidence. We know what our gifts are, and we use those gifts to help others. Pope Francis wants us to reflect on the life of St. Joseph in order to give us some direction and some guide we can be like St. Joseph. We can aspire to humble service, loving others, taking care of those entrusted to us. Perhaps it may be just those people in our immediate classroom. And then it extends to our family, maybe into our places of work where we're trying to care for people and sometimes some very demanding and crazy situations. Call upon St. Joseph. Ask for his intercession so we can say, Leah, help me to be patient. Help me to be understanding. Help me to be kind and loving. This feast of St. Joseph that we celebrate today just reminds us again, God is always with us.
He wants to show us the way. In a moment, you're going to hear the special prayer that was written by Pope Francis for this year of St. Joseph. Listen to those words. Joseph, who was given to us to be our protector and guide. Joseph, who knew what his job was, to care for Jesus and Mary, keep them safe, give them what they needed. We look to the example of St. Joseph, who guides us along our way, to see before us what our tasks are, and to do our best every day to bring the light of Jesus into the world. As we continue our Lenten journey, these 40 days are meant just to help all of us. As you recall, we had our prayer service for Ash Wednesday, and I simply invited all of us to really embrace the call to do good, to be kind, to be loving, to be helpful, to, to be understanding. That's what we need, and we continue to do it. Things are changing rapidly. Vaccines are rolling out. People are getting their shots. There is an end in sight. Be patient, hold firm and fast. Keep your eyes focused in front. That's so important. Jesus leads the way. That's what Easter is all about. There's always hope, there's always joy. So St. Joseph, help us, help our school community all of our staff and students, our families, help us all to be those good and obedient servants, trusting in God's promise, never being afraid, always being gentle and humble servants of each other. God bless all. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too. Show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for our grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from all every evil.
response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church and all pastoral leaders that they may faithfully serve God. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for St. Joseph's school community that we may continue to support and love one another. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Nous prions pour la communauté de l'école St. Joseph, afin que nous puissions continuer de trouver des moyens de nous soutenir et de nous aimer les uns les autres. Nous prions le Seigneur. Réponse. For all of us on our Lenten journey, that we continue to share our gifts, talents, and love with others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and for those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. Remember especially our family members and friends who are sadly missed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask that the Lord hears our prayer intentions, the ones that we just mentioned and the ones we hold silent in our hearts. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Traditionally, we celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph with a school mass, and then we return to our classes and share in eating some delicious fresh bread. The symbolism of the bread comes from the word companion. We know that throughout his life's journey, Joseph was a companion to Jesus. The word companion is derived from the Latin compagnie. Translated, it means with bread. The bread would remind us that just as Joseph fed nourished, supported, and helped Jesus in his earthly journey, we must go forward nourishing each other. As we progress through life's journey, we also have companions, people to accompany us, to share our lives, our joys, and troubles. They strengthen us when we are weak, they nourish us when we are hungry, they listen to us, and we listen to them. 
Our bonds may be of friendship, family, or mentor. Even though we can't gather together as a school community, we are still called to encourage one another in times of weakness, comfort one another in times of sadness, and celebrate with each other in times of joy. We are all called to offer the spiritual nourishment to each other that sustains us as we journey as brothers and sisters in Christ. Since we can't share in the bread as we usually do, we will conclude our celebration of the Feast of St. Joseph in a different way. Let us take this time to recognize some of our companions whom we are grateful to be on this journey with, especially during the last year that has been so greatly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. We are grateful to be on this journey with our teacher. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my students. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my students. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my students. We are grateful to be on this journey with our teacher. We are grateful to be on this journey with friends and chocolate. I love my family, my mom and dad, and I have two brothers, and I love, I miss all my friends. I miss you guys. <laughs> we are grateful to be on this journey with Mr. Gilbert. <laughs> I am grateful to be on this journey with my mom. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my parents. I am grateful to be on this journey with my mom. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my mom. I am grateful to be on this journey with my dad. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my mom. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my dad. I am grateful to be on this journey with students. Yo. I am grateful to be on this journey with all my close friends. Now I'm thankful for my wife and the support that I get at home. I'm thankful for all the staff and students here at St. Joe's for sticking things out. I'm thankful that the Toronto Maple Leafs still haven't won the Stanley Cup, and I'm thankful for Evan's mom. I am grateful to be on this journey with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I am thankful for brain health and exercising. I'm grateful to be on this journey with St. Joseph patron of our school, and actually the patron of the nuns that founded the school, the Sisters of St. Joseph. St. Joseph, as the father of the Holy Family, provided for his wife, provided for his child, Jesus, and so they journeyed with Jesus throughout his life, teaching him, instructing him, guiding him, and directing him. And so just like Joseph directed Jesus through his life, I turn to St. Joseph as my father, who now is in heaven, and so they ask him for direction in my life, guidance in my life, and I come to him with my problems the same way I would come to my own dad. So I'm grateful for St. Joseph. We are grateful to be on this journey with our teachers. I am grateful for my family and all the things I have. We are grateful to be on this journey with our friends. I am grateful to be on this journey with my family. I am grateful to be on this journey with my dog, Baxter. I am grateful for my brother and my sister. I'm thankful to be on this journey with the church. I'd like to thank the support staff of St. Joseph's, their secretaries and the custodians and all the other people that uh, kind of work behind the scenes to make this place run. And I am thankful and grateful for those people. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my family, but most importantly, my brother. I am grateful to be on this journey with my friends and my family. I'm grateful to be on this journey with all of my wonderful friends. I am thankful for other who help me and are the false. I am grateful to be on this journey with my brother. I am great for coming to school. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my family. <laughs> I am grateful to be on this journey with my daughters and my mom. I am grateful for my mom and dad and my brothers, Ian and Kevin. We are grateful to be on this journey with our friends. I'm grateful to be on this journey with my friends. We are grateful to be on this journey with our friends. I'm grateful for my family and mom and dad. We are grateful to be on this journey with our teachers. 
I'm thankful for my family and my food and my house. I'm grateful to be on this journey with you, Lasers, because you and your energy are keeping me going during this time. Thanks. I'm grateful to be on this journey with St. Joe's. All of us, staff and students, our entire school community. I am thankful that we have each other to count on, a family with whom we share every new day. I'm grateful to be on this journey with all of you, staff and students. Like a rope that is made stronger with the addition of individual threads, so too our community is made stronger through the experiences of each of us as individuals. I encourage you to continue to be there for each other, to support each other, and to celebrate each other. Although our journey may not always be an easy one, we are comforted in knowing that we are in it together.